Hi guys, today we are going to be opening up some Pokemon Beckett Returns through Dan's Pokestop. I sent 9 cards, um, usually I'd watch these on a live video that he does, but due to workload, um, he's been able to do the live, so um, I don't know the grades, so we're just going to get into it, and let's just see what we get. So there's a few vintage, including um, Shardless cards. That is a big stack. Now we'll just flip this around. I'll just cut into it to be safe. Now. going to place the cards flat because I don't want to see the grades. Hold on. Let's unravel this. Put that down here. Sorry about this. It's, uh, Quite a lot. There's just a lot of cards to go through. And we do have one card that has been sent back. Because it doesn't meet the grade. Which was the CGC 10 uh, perfect Iron Man. Um, I did go for a black label, um, but they obviously they marked down the two top front corners. So fair enough. Uh, yeah, I can see just tiny bits by there, but that's fine. So we'll just go in random order, as I don't know which one's which. So, first of all, we have a special delivery Charizard 9.5, which has 9.5 center, 9.5 edges, 9 surface, uh, nine corners and 10 surface. I'm quite happy about that. I expect it to get um, much lower. Next up, we have a Jungle Mint 9. Uh, Flareon, which got nine, uh, sorry, eight five centering, nine five edges, nine corners, and nine five surface. Next up, we have an eight five um, Lieutenant Sergeant Fero, I believe. Yep, which this one did get, I think this got harshly graded. This was pack fresh. Um, if you see any, like, it's just condensation from when my hands are warm. Um, I do think this is harshly graded. Sorry for the light. Um, it's just so I can check everything. But, yeah. We have... Ooh. A seven. Edge has got a seven. A safe has got a six. I didn't expect that because that's also a pack fresh card. Um, this is for somebody who I deal with personally. Some of these are mine, some of them aren't. But that's completely fine. So. Next up. Ooh, we have a Erica Gym Heroes 95 Hollow. And we also got 10 for edges. So that's a very strong card. Yeah. And then we're down to a final three, which of these should be very nice cards, which are Shadowless Trio. We have a 7.5 Blastoise. This card that met my expectations to what we get. Um, the surface did let it down overall, but 
I won't complain with that. And then we have a 7 for my Venusaur. Also, surface and edges laying it down a bit and the corners, but it is expected from the condition that I did send them in, as you can tell. It does have some wear and tear. They are very old cards, but overall very clean compared to Unlimited. And we have a 5 for the Charizard Shardless, which I also did expect. I expected a 4.5 to 5 um, when I pre-graded. The surface did get a 4 and edges a 5, understandable. Um, but yeah, not too bad overall. So, that's the Shadowless. I think the highest being we had a 9.5 for the Erica, a 7 for the Houndoom. 8.5 for the Fero, 9 for the Jungle Flareon, and a 9.5 for the Special Delivery Charizard. Obviously, with the button card being non-graded to coming back because it didn't meet the black label expectations, which was the perfect 10 Iron Man, which is completely understandable. So, if you enjoyed this video um, and you like these cards, just drop a comment what you think about them. Um, and yeah, if you could drop a like, it would mean a lot to me for somebody who hasn't got much subscribers and drop a sub so thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one